Hey, what's up? It's your girl Saida. I'm back with a new video, and let me tell y'all something. You know I'm still in Miami, right? I'm with Pressure Point 2.0, and I have a special treat for y'all. Sorry, the things don't. Have I'm telling you, uh, Kira, she's just something <laughs> else. But I have a special treat for y'all, right? We have a patient in the back seat. She is about to go see Dr. Dobak herself, the queen of BBLs. And I just wanted to take y'all on this journey because guess what? I know y'all are interested in getting this BBL or tummy tuck or lipo 360 or mommy makeover. So what better way than to meet an actual brand new doll? See how she's feeling. See how, you know, the journey. The truth about it. The no, truth. Yeah, what we what they really go through, the feelings, the the emotional roller coaster. So you get first hand, she's back there. Exactly. So, y'all want to meet my girl? Okay, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. We'll be back. Hey, girl. Okay, y'all, so look, can you introduce yourself to the YouTube friends? Yes, my name is Kimmy with Getting Cozy with Kimmy. Okay, so she also has a YouTube channel as well, y'all, and I'm going to put all her information in the description box, so y'all go ahead, follow her, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend, and yeah, okay, so go ahead. So I'm here for um, lipo and a BBL with Dr. Doback. Um, this is my second surgery because I had a tummy tuck in 2020. And, but this is my first time with Dr. Doback. I'm feeling a little nervous, but a little at ease because I did pray about this several months before. So I feel at ease because I trust in God blocking things that are not supposed to be when you ask him. So I'm feeling okay. A little uh, nervous, I guess, maybe anticipating. But other than that, I think I'm okay. Okay, good. So let me ask you a question. What type of shape are you trying to get? What do you want? Um, I was one of the black girls, um, unfortunately born without any hips or butt. So, <laughs> you know, I feel like whatever is gonna enhance me is gonna be good. So, um, I, I wouldn't say I'm too picky where I just want, you know, a fixing body because that's probably not gonna match me. But, um, you know, anything that's just gonna enhance me. Okay, perfect. Okay, where are you from? We didn't even get into I'm actually that. from the Bay Area, from California. And guys, she's a hairdresser, so if yes. you need your hair done, like I said, her information is going to be in the description box so she can slay you. She specializes in healthy, natural hair. We had a long conversation. Yes. So healthy, natural hair. And she's an old school type of hairdresser. Yes. She believes in washing, conditioning, blow drying treatments. The whole treatments. nine protein treatment, moisturizing treatment, and all of that, right? Yes, absolutely. Exactly. So guess what, guys? Before we go into any surgery, we like to lead, especially in pressure point. Right, Kara? Yes. We like to lead in prayer. Yes. So can you please lead the prayer, prayer for us, honey? Absolutely. Okay, bye, so. yes. Let's be on one accord because we're coming in the name of the Most High, Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, for waking us up this morning in our right mind, God. We thank and praise you for letting your angels go out before us, God. We are on your schedule, not our schedule, God. I thank you for allowing me to meet these girls, God. You brought me this way all the way from the Bay Area, God. I thank you for my safe trip and my safe return, God. I ask you to disperse your healing angels into that room with me, God. I thank and praise you, God, for touching Dr. Doback's hands, God. Everything that is coming against me or may come against me i bind it in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus christ lord i thank you for a speedy and healing god i thank you god for minimum pain god yes. that you will let me go in there and come out safely god in the name of jesus christ i pray god i ask you to bring these girls back safely god let me return home safely lord in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. oh that was that so beautiful was awesome. wow oh my gosh, wow girl. Yes, I, I felt chills. It. I believe in it. The yeah. Holy Ghost is already there waiting on me. I love that. That's Absolutely. Right. Yeah, so Absolutely. I don't feel bad about it. I'm going in there with my angels. I'm going in there That's with God. That's why your angels are there for you. There, yes. Listen, I am I am sending my angels to protect you because I know God keeps me protected. Yes. So when I move all throughout Miami, throughout yes. South Florida, I know that God always keeps me protected. Yes. So I'm sending my angels in there to protect Absolutely. you as well. In the operating room, from the nurses, anesthesiologists. Yes to Dr. Dobat, that you find favor with everyone that any and everyone that come to you and they yes. touch you that you, that their hands are anointed yes. and any ill will is we cast it out and we send it back to the pits of hell so it's only good things are going to come out of it yes 
I believe it. Yeah. Absolutely. And I always tell my angels, my dad told me this as a little girl. He was like, don't let your angels be on strike. Your angels are holding up a sign saying, we want to work. Go tell them what to do. Yes, yes. yes. I like that. Go tell them. I like so that. So I already dispersed mine into the room and they're waiting on me. Oh my Amen. God. Yes, honey. Yeah. I really like that. Yes. So wow. It is what it is. You gave me chills. That was a beautiful prayer. That was really a beautiful Yep, I'm excited about it because I prayed about it for a long time. So this is like a dream of yours? Yeah, it has been because I've been doing the work on my body for a, for a while. Yeah. You know, I was out, I was out 300 and like 33 pounds, 32. Wow. And so I did the work on myself. And so, um, you know, I prayed about Even with my tummy tuck, I prayed about that. And I went way to Michigan to that doctor. And come to find out while I was in surgery, he found another two hernias behind the one. Oh, wow. And so he was able to repair it. So um, I believe God. God sent me there too. Amen. That's amazing. So, right, I'm his daughter, so I go where Hello. He Hello. Go. And from the beginning, I said, God, if this is not your will, block it in every way. Yeah. That's amazing. Every way. And even Amen. when I was supposed to come the week before, it was blocked because I didn't have my yeah. labs together yeah. and that wasn't the time. Mm -hmm. And so this time, every the labs went smooth, the EKG, mm -hmm. everything went you know, it's playing because I always tell God, if it's not your will for me, I'll be upset, but I know it's for my good. Exactly. Hello. Mm -hmm. And so um, I told him, block if it's not for me, block it, God, and I'll be okay with it. You absolutely. Know? Absolutely. So I trust and believe that everything is going to go as planned. It's already done. Yes. It already, it has no choice but to because it's aligning. Yes. You've already, you already went to God about it. He already gave you the green light. So it has no choice but to be smooth sailing from here. And I told God when I was coming here, I said, God, when I leave there, I want you to leave these girls a blessing behind for their business. Oh, oh that's yeah. amazing. I, I, want, I want to touch and agree in their room so you can leave them a blessing yes, behind amen. so their business will be prosperous. So I said, if you send me, God, I'll leave them a blessing behind in your Ooh, name. Oh, that's that. me too. I want to receive. I want to receive. I yep. do receive. I am receiving. Yep. So, yes. So let me ask you a question. Yes. Right? I know this is off topic. How do you feel about going shopping for this new booty? <laughs> Smile. Um, I'm, 50 <laughs> I'm turning 50 in May. Oh, you don't look at y'all. Yeah, look at that skin. Looking. Oh my gosh, girl. <laughs> I know I'm turning 50 in May and we're all going to Greece. It's like 12 of us going to wow. Greece. So I'm like, okay, so I'll do a little bit of shopping before Hello. I go to Greece. So okay. I'm excited about that. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, 50. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. You I go know. ahead. Look at that skin. Yes. You better stop lying. Yes. <laughs> that skin is moist and supple. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm like, God, it went so fast. But, you know, some people didn't make it. I have a lot of friends who didn't make it to see things. Wow. So, you know, so it's grateful. a blessing. Yeah. I've come a long way. I've come through a lot. And, yeah. you know, my, I feel like my life is just starting. God's, Absolutely. He's taking me places where I don't even know. Hello. And so that was prophesied to me a while ago. So, All right. Um, you know, I feel In like, unfamiliar territories, that's when he start to move. Yes. When he take you out of the norm or what's norm. comfortable and put you in what's in, uncomfortable, yeah. that's when he really started to elevate you and things start to change for the good. Yes. You know, we, we, we have to get out of, get out of, out of that familiar place. Mm -hmm. And then he'll start to really move and like he blow, it's like mind blowing. Yes. When he start to do those things in your life, you're like, wow, I never could imagine. I remember T.D. Jake said, um, your penthouse thoughts is God's basement performance. Mm, so when he I said that. that, that hit me so deep. Yes. And ever since, I've never been the same. Like, I, I, I always think about that. Like, the highest thing that we can imagine is so small in my life. It's a grain of sand to mm -hmm. God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a grain of sand. So, um, I believe it. I trust in God and I know that he's been miraculous in my life and my family's life. I come from a family of ministers. Okay, I can wow. definitely tell. I can definitely tell. <laughs> yep, I, come the, from I can it. tell the anointed in yes. you. Yep, I come from it and, um, you know, God has been moving. We have a prayer line every Tuesday night mm -hmm. that we go on and God moves in that prayer line. We have a life of fasting and prayer. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe in my right. heavenly language and mm -hmm. I'm going under in my heavenly language. That's Hello, right. somebody. Yep, so I'm excited to see how God moves in this. Okay, yes. okay. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Now, yep. now, let me answer a question. Are you going to document your journey on YouTube or? You know, I was thinking about it, but then I was like, uh, I don't know. I might add it to my page. Yeah, because I'm telling you, the subscribers are definitely going to want to keep up with you and see how your progress was. I mean, yes. we'll definitely get some clips after surgery. But, okay. You know, they definitely want to see what's going on with you. So I want to make sure, you know, um, 
I can give them a reference point, like give them your social media yeah, so I'm they on, can follow you. I'm on Getting Cozy with Kimmy. That's uh, my YouTube page. And I also have um, Instagram, which is Getting Cozy with Kimmy as well. They can find me on there. And we do a podcast. We talk about every topic. Every topic known, we, we touched on pretty much not all of them, but a lot of them. And so, yeah, they can follow me there and I'll document some of my journey. Yeah, that would be yeah. a blessing. That yes. is so good. Yes. And then, you know what? I don't know if you're still recording. Yeah, but, I am. Um, so I'm going to say this. You can cut it, cut it out if you want. But sometimes in the world, like when you're a Christian, they feel like we're not supposed to do certain things. And yep. I feel like this will break the, that barrier. That barrier. Mm -hmm. Because they feel like, oh, she shouldn't get this. She should love oh, her. Yes. God made her this way. Yes. And da 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 I heard it. And, and you know, they try to talk. Mm -hmm. But I believe in moving according to God. And as long as God gave me the okay, I'm going to step. Because I feel like God is on what we on. If we want it, he's for it. Hello. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, of course, we're going to pray about it. We're going to consult with him first. Yeah. But the moment he, he touched and he, he's in agreement with it, yeah. we we move forward but you know we got those people that will say oh well you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that and even when I tell them what type of business like sometimes I get a little side eye but see I'm very hard headed I've, I've always been that way so and I'm a go getter and I don't believe in allowing people what they believe and their I don't let that bother me and I still keep moving forward and I love that that you are Christian because it, it it's going to set the tone for others who want to, to come out it, and do that scared yeah. of doing it because of backlash of exactly mm -hmm. exactly yeah I feel like I'm you know this is something that I want to do this is something that I like I said I prayed about it even with our tummy test like my mom went with us and she's oh, like okay. you know my mom been saved since I was 14 months old awesome. so I grew up in the Lord my grandparents was ministers my dad so i grew up in that and we always consult god first yes. you know that's that's the Absolutely. main thing and if it's his will it's gonna go forward if yes. it's not his will i always tell him to block, block it's not it. meant that's to right be. Yes. even with people in my life mm -hmm. wow. if there's somebody in my life god that's not meant to be block them block them take them down man. yeah Hello. take them out of my life yes. you know and i always tell god to tear every word that was sent out negative against me i send it back in the exactly. name of jesus and, and i let it fall to the ground mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep and i always say god save that person who's ever talking against me mm -hmm. save them you know, let them feel you. Let them feel your love, so that they it could overcome and all that. And forgive them hate. because yeah. they don't know. They don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. You have to Even be careful about putting the words yeah. on on us because that's the thing. Like God don't be playing. I feel like, like in, hello. in this life, people don't understand that there's life and death in your tongue, Come and that's on. what the word says. Yes. You speak life over your life, and your life is gonna grow. If you always negative, you are gonna kill your whole world. Mm. You gonna kill that's everything. So true. I always tell my mom every morning, speak life over your life. Speak yes. it. Speak it out. Mm -hmm. There were so many things that I spoke out that happened, and, and it never ceases to amaze me. Mm -hmm. So I always try I to not the same way. Yeah, I try to never yeah, put negative out. Yeah. I yeah. try not to never. You know, sometimes your flesh will get in, and yes. you'll be like, oh, you know, God, I don't feel good today. But mm -hmm. I've been um, conditioning myself to speak positive. Yes, that manifestation. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I've been conditioned. Manifesting because, you know, greatness. You know, spirits carry words. Absolutely. You know that, right? Yes. Yep, absolutely. They're like, oh, she's scared. Let me go take mm -hmm. this you know, fear spirit going there with her. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so I always tell myself, speak life. Speak mm -hmm. good things over your Be life. Be positive. Mm -hmm. That energy you, you know, you give, you get out, yes. you get right back. Yes. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. Wow. Yes. I'm so excited for you. I know. Yeah, I'm really excited for you. I am too. I'm, I'm ready to get this going. Now, let me ask you a question. What made you book with Pressure Point? Um, I saw her on Dr. Doback's, um, one of Dr. Doback's posts, and um, something about her words just struck me, and I said, let me go in her inbox and see what this is about, and so <laughs> and, and I had a conversation, and then even just typing, I was like, okay, this is where I'm meant to be. Okay. Yeah, I thank God for that connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's and I awesome. said, okay, this is where I'm going. That's so, amazing. That's yeah. amazing. Yep. Yeah. So, so far, everything's been good. How do you like um, your accommodations? Your, so your, far, everything's been really Your room good. and everything? Yes. Your place? The bed. I slept really good. Okay. Yes. I I, um, I think I woke up like once because, you know, it's still kind of California time. Yes. yes. I was just, I was mm -hmm. just telling her that. Yep. So, but other than that, I slept good. Said my prayers last night. We prayed again this morning and um, here we are. And you've been enjoying Miami? I have. I've come here a lot. Well, not okay. a whole lot, but this is one of the places I love to visit. Me too. So, my, I love Miami. Mm -hmm, I do like it here a lot. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of familiar, but not with this area, but okay. just mainly like South Beach. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, y'all. So, y'all met her, and we're going to see how she is after surgery. Yes. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Yes. Bye. Bye. Guys, so we are here at Dr. Zobak's office, and 
She's about to go get that surgery. Let's walk her in, child. Let's walk her in. You ready? Yeah. You've never been here before, right? No. no. So it's the door on the end. Okay. Now, I know you know I can't record in here, but I definitely want to see you walk in. You see, guys? She's walking in, child. Have a good one. There we go. And then you just check in at the front door. The front desk. Yeah. You just check in at the front. Ooh, you're good. Back to the back's office, y'all. Wish my girl good okay, luck. So you're good, right? Yes. Okay, we about to go, girl. Good luck. Okay. See you on the flip side. Okay. On the black side. On the, no, on the big side, on the thick side. On the thick side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the part. So, um, I think you should just give it to Kira. Because you don't need no cash. What you need cash for? Yeah, just just in case. And then I have in the for the Okay. But remember they're gonna get it. After surgery. We leave it now, child. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. All right, guys. See you later. Thanks See you later. <laughs> You're welcome. She's stopping. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. So she's in there like swimwear. Yay! We leaving now, child. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. All right, guys. See you later. Thanks See you guys. later. You're welcome. She's stopping. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. So she's in there like swimwear. Yay! Happy Kira. <laughs> Put this on Instagram. No, no. <laughs> it's going on YouTube. No. <laughs> See, this is what we be doing at pressure point, y'all. She got no, my makeup crying. Is she is bad. <laughs> y'all, she always got some funny story to tell me. <laughs> hey, y'all. Look at pressure point. The CEO of Pressure Point 2.0. You got Kira. She hey. is. She is getting ready for one of our um doll babies to come out. Yeah. Y'all saw Miss Thang, so it's time to, for her to come on out. So this is how she lines the vehicle. And Kira, why are you lining the vehicle like this? Because they will be draining. So to protect your car, regardless if you have leather upholstery or if you have cloth, I think it is, you need to protect your car because they will be draining. Draining what? Draining what? Fluid? fluid, yes, and okay, and, and also to mess and fluid, which is injected when you have your anesthesia. So your your body is getting rid of some of the toxins and everything that was put in your body for surgery. Okay, and you see how she's tucking it in, ladies. I'm telling you, book with the best pressure point. Yeah, I know to sent you so you can access that great detail. Okay. Hello. Hello, somebody. So I can't wait for Miss Doll Baby to come out. She gonna look amazing, honey. Amazing. Okay. Hey ladies, so we are back. We are ready to pick Miss Thang up. Oh, that's her in a wheelchair. She's coming. Look at her. Look at her. Yay, she's coming, y'all. I'm so excited for her. She's not even making I'm no sound. I'm recording you, girl. Um, I don't know. You guys call me. Sometimes you're with the queen. Okay, oh. guys, look at her little body. Ooh, look at that body. Yes, it's given. It's given. Ooh, it's definitely given. How you okay. feeling, girlfriend? You look good. Do you? You're doing really, really good. Oh my God. And that body, y'all. Mm. I'm talking about Buffy the body with the booty. Thank you so much. We got you. Kira, you want to sign? Kira's going to sign. She's doing so good, y'all. Look at her. How does your butt feel? Does it feel weird sitting down? I know. I know. But you look like 
You're doing amazing. Yes. Oh my God. Her, um, you guys sent her prescription over, right? Yes, it's over at the hospital. Yep. Okay, perfect, perfect. okay you ready, girl? Okay. Can you just roll her out? Girl, you are doing good. <laughs> yes, honey. You got it? Am I in the way? Okay. Y'all, make sure y'all book your um, surgery with Dr. Zoback, New Life. This is the team. They trick to get good care of you, okay? Wow, amazing. Look at that. Go ahead. You wow. got it? Yes. Y'all did a great job, Dr. Zoback's team. You did a great job, okay? Great job. Yes. <laughs> yes. Amazing. Make sure y'all book y'all on uh, surgery with Dr. Dobak and make sure you do your post op care with my girl Kira with Pressure Point 2.0. And let me tell you something, ladies. Y'all riding in luxury, okay? She got the bends. This is how she take care of her dolls. Absolutely. How you doing, Queen? You good? Chapstick. Chapstick. Look at her. Okay, she want to get them lips good. Okay. So yeah, your butt is huge, girl. It's giving projection. Wow, you look amazing. And you feel good? Yes. Okay, good. So you're not in any pain? Uh, just a little. Okay, okay. Wow. See, everybody takes it differently. You're doing really, really good. I just was really thirsty. You were thirsty? Yeah. And honestly, your surgery didn't take that long. Really? No. no. Real quick, because remember I had said, um, I was like, Kim, text me when you get to the back. Mm -hmm. So I, I was like, okay, I said, she must be still doing her pre-op. So I texted you. I was like, hey, how's your pre how did your pre-op go? And I didn't get a response. So I started, I'm like, oh, she must have went and forgot to text me. Like, um, they got me back there um, after I did the paperwork. And then she did, um, she made me put on the robe and everything. Then she gave me the cup for the urine. And then I did that. She said, I gotta take it to the doctor. Took it to the doctor and she came back and was like, it's time to get marked up. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, it's going so fast. So they, the doctor came, marked me up, was talking to me about San Francisco and all that stuff. And then they was like, okay, come back to the waiting room. Or no, come back to the anesthesia to meet the anesthesia. Doctor. Yeah, yeah. And they put me in the room and I said, is this the room? And he was <clears> like, yeah. And so and I was like, okay. And then um, he was like, lay back. And he was talking to me about my health. And um, he was like, which arm? Because one of the veins didn't do good. Okay. So he had to put it right here. Ooh. Because mm -hmm. my veins cross and tuck like my dad's. Okay. And so he couldn't get this one right. So he got this one. And then they had the white stuff in the syringe. And I was like, yep. And so the I, milky stuff. Mm -hmm. I said, am I going out? He was like, not just yet. And so then, like, you know, I was out, um, completely out. And then I woke up and there was like a heater thing on me, like a blower heater because I was shaking. Mm -hmm. cold. And I was like, am I alive? And she was like, you're fine. And I was like, oh my God, you got it done? And she was like, yeah. And so she was like, stay here recovering, you know, warm up a little bit. And I said, my girl here to pick me up? And she said, yes. And then um, I told her I had to pee. Mm -hmm. And she gave me the urinal thing, um, the bowl. But for some reason, I can't go to the bathroom laying down. And that's when they got me up to the bathroom, mm -hmm. which... Seemed like I peed for eternity. Yeah, it's like three gallons. Yeah, and so um, then it was always smooth sailing from there. I haven't really felt any significant pain. I haven't felt like really uncomfortable, maybe tight. Mm -hmm. um, it's maybe tight. Okay. So I've been walking. Um, I haven't really had a big appetite. I did eat some soup last night. Like so I did eat some soup last night with protein in it, an egg, and some beef, and. Um, I had that last night. My throat was a little sore from when they took out the tube, so I've been having a little sore throat. Other than that, I've been drinking my water, my tea. I'm about to make some tea right now. And um, I feel great. And no medication, no, no pain meds. I have been no, no pain meds. I have been taking the Tylenol. Um, but besides that, you haven't been taking the perks no, or the Oxy? they're still there. Wow. Yep, so. I don't really do good with pain medication and I don't feel I need it, so I don't use it. Okay, good. Yeah. But you look good. Oh, can you tell them how they took your legs? So, when I got back there and he marked me up, I have always had these little two fat pockets right here on my thigh, like right here. And Dr. Dobak was like, um, 
why did the surgeon, your last um, tummy tuck surgeon, leave the fat pockets right here? And I was like, well, I don't know. And Dr. Dobak was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, and remove it. <coughs> and um, Dr. Dobak was like, I'm gonna remove those fat pockets for you. And Dr. Dobak was like, I wanna send you back to San Francisco with my stamp on you. You're in good hands. And that was it. Yes, y'all. And she looks amazing. She feels amazing. I do. I feel really good, y'all. I don't feel like really no pain it's just very kind of tight and sore like i've worked out or something okay mm -hmm. but overall are you happy with dr dolback and his work i am i'm very pleased and his bedside manners yes. how he was treating you absolutely i had um um really just a good experience because i didn't have anything before so i told dr dolback i'd be happy with whatever and so dr dolback is like we just want you to be pleased that's amazing. Yep, so. Yes, y'all. So, so make when sure. the swelling goes down, I uh -huh. cannot wait to see because you just told me I had swelling. So yeah, you have swelling. Okay. And it's going to go down. It's going to be even more snatched. Okay. Go. You're going to be amazing. And you can follow me on Instagram at Getting Cozy with Kimmy. And you can follow me on YouTube with Getting Cozy with Kimmy. I have a podcast and we talk about several topics. You can follow me there. Awesome. Okay, Thank bye, y'all. Okay, y'all. So I had a really good time in Miami. And y'all, I just needed some time to myself. So I decided to book a facial. Um, the lady who's in my facial, she's one of the best estheticians in Miami. And you know, I just needed to just woosah before I get back to Arizona and you know, start mommy life. So yeah, this is me getting my facial. I was running my mouth, child. You know how I do, I love to talk. Um, but after my facial, my face, oh my God, that scalp massage was everything. My face was smooth. She was getting all my little white heads and black heads. Um, yeah. So like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. And if you want to book, please look at the description box. I have a special code, um, for you ladies. Okay. So everyone who wants to book with Dr. Dobak, I will have a link, a referral link. You can utilize that and you can get your discount. Peace.